Oh, hello there. You just caught me about to make some Korean marinated pork belly. I'm just here to grab my ingredients. I'm actually making some beef bone broth right now. But in the meantime, while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to do some meal prepping. Got my fresh side, or pork belly as we call it, from Covenant Pastures, which is pasture raised, free range, happy pig pork belly. And I got some sesame oil, gochujang, and I'm going to grab my soy sauce as well. Now I'm just going to grab my ginger powder and garlic powder. Got some ginger powder. Oh, that's garlic powder. And ginger powder. What else do I need? You're going to need a cutting board to slice up the pork belly, a sharp knife, and a mixing bowl. So this is actually my second time making this Korean marinated style pork belly and it actually was so tasty. I usually just eat a uh, fresh side plain or with eggs and with some salt, but I just thought, hey, why not kind of spice it up a little bit? I have some rice, so why not have something a little Asian-y? So I'm going to show you here. Okay, let's make the marinade. I have some traditionally brewed soy sauce. I'm just going to eyeball this. A dash of organic sesame oil. Some sprinkles of ginger powder. You can also use fresh ginger if you have it. And some granulated garlic powder. You can also use fresh minced garlic here as well. And last but not least, some gochujang. I have mother-in-law's tangy uh, gochujang. You can also use their regular gochujang. I also forgot to mention that you're going to need a little bit of honey. If you don't have honey, you can use maple syrup as well, just to sweeten it, just a touch. Mix that all in. Then I'm going to add the pork belly. So now that we got the pork belly all nice and coated, we're going to pop it in the fridge for 20 minutes, or if you don't want to cook it today, you can always marinate it overnight and cook it the next day. All right, we've got the pork belly marinated for about 20 minutes. We're going to start cooking because Cody is hungry. You don't have to preheat the pan because if it gets really hot and you add the meat to it, it's just going to splatter. So you can actually start it with a cold pan. So we're going to put the whole thing in there. No need to put oil because there's plenty of fat on this. So it's not going to stick. So now we're starting to get brown. Make sure you monitor the heat because we don't want it to burn. We just want it to get a nice brown, crispy color. And then you can see all the fat that's rendered out of the pork. Do not dump the fat. You can always saute some vegetables in it. Nothing should go to waste. All right, we're gonna plate it up. Just grab your tongs. So you can just pick up most of the meat without all the excess fat. Yum, yum, yum. Pop it off with some scallions. I have some kimchi I'm going to add a little bit to the side. It smells like a Korean barbecue restaurant, but I happen to be at home. Mm. Oh my god, that is so good. That was so easy to make. All it took was a few ingredients, putting it in the fridge for 20 minutes, and then putting it in a pan. How easy was that? I really hope you enjoy this easy meal prep idea. All it takes is some good pasture-raised pork, 
few ingredients, and some chopsticks that I don't know how to use properly. If you want to see any more recipes, please just fill out the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next video.